If you DJ with DJ Pro and the iPad and you want to get the best experience possible for your specific style of DJing, change these settings immediately. For this video, I'm going to be showing you settings that I recommend changing in the actual settings menu. I'll do another video where I show you like the hidden drop down menus and those things. So we're going to press the middle button and you might be in the modes section. So just go over here to the right and then you will be in your settings. And then I'm just going to go from top to bottom and we're going to change some settings. So we're going to start in general. And now the first thing that I want you guys to change is this start playback. This is the most annoying feature. And what it does is as soon as you load up a track, it's going to start playing the track immediately. You don't have any time to set anything up and it could ruin your mixes completely. So let me show you. I'm going to eject this. And now I'm going to load up my scratch tool. And it starts going immediately. I don't know why anyone would keep this setting on. It is super annoying. So just go to general and then this first one here, tick it off. So now I'm just going to eject this one, load it back up. And now it starts not playing. And then you have the choice to press play if that's what you choose to do. Next one is going to be protect active deck. This keeps you from doing one of the biggest DJ mistakes, which is called a tomato. And that is when you, all the music stops playing, you eject the wrong song, or you load up another song while you're still mixing. So let me show you. So it is selected off now. There's nothing protecting us. So this song's playing. And then we can just go over here. load up another song and it will let us load up another song. But now let me show you what happens when we have this setting, when we have this amazing setting on. Protect Active Deck, now it's playing. We go to load up another track and it says, you are about to load up onto an Active Deck, do you wanna proceed? So if you do wanna change it, you could press load but if you don't, then you could catch your mistake and make sure that you don't make that mistake. It's really helpful and it doesn't really have any drawbacks. And I would highly recommend you putting this setting on. It doesn't automatically start the app with this setting on. You do have to change it manually. The start playback starts with it on, so you have to turn it off. And now we're going to go down here to, to tempo range. What this does is it changes the sensitivity of the tempo slider. So for example, if it's on eight, then you could only change the BPM up eight or down eight. So this is a hundred BPM. If I go all the way up to my slider, you get 108, all the way down, you get 92. Now this is only beneficial if you like doing manually changing the BPM, manually beat matching, and you wanna be very precise, and then you don't plan on doing big BPM jumps. My style of DJing, I do a lot of big BPM jumps and I switch genres a lot. So 8% does not cut it for me. And then also, if you go too high, if you go to 75%, let's say for example, I wanna set the BPM at 106.3. It is almost impossible to get it completely light. You see it's going 106.2, 10 and it's jumping everywhere. It makes it super sensitive. So you don't wanna go too low. You don't wanna go too high. What I have found within my 10 years of using this app is if you keep it somewhere in the middle, I would recommend 25%. Now I can go up to the precise BPMs and even the percentages. And then I also have a pretty wide range of BPM that I can jump. And then this way I could do my big BPM jumps and still be able to to move this slider with some kind with decent accuracy djing with just the ipad makes things difficult because everything is smaller and the touch screen could be difficult so don't make it harder for yourself and leave it at tempo 25. you could also change this setting with this bpm menu over here so you could go over here and then go to tempo and then we could change the range over here it's just another option to change this feature and here is another one, just like the start playback, another one that is automatically selected and just super annoying. So this is start time playback. So listen to when I start this scratch track. Oh, yeah. 
So what it does is it slowly builds up to the speed, just like if you were using a regular turntable and it took a little while for it to build up the RPMs, that's what it does. And it's really confusing, especially for most people that are gonna be using this app that never DJed with turntables before. So if you have it all the way up to like 2.5 over here, listen to how annoying this is. It slowly comes on. So when you press play and you're trying the beat match or trying to get your beats aligned, it's really annoying. This is another setting which I don't know why anyone would keep it on. The only time I would adjust one of these is with the stop time. With the stop time, if I wanted to do a large BPM to a small BPM jump, I would do this stop time because it makes a cool sound. It kind of sounds like it's crashing, but that is the only time, only for one trick, and then I would switch it back. So for this one, I would just keep it, if you plan on just doing regular normal DJing and you just want to load up a song and have it play immediately, keep the start time at zero, keep the stop time at zero. Trust me, you'll thank me later. It is a really annoying setting and you might be wondering why it's doing that and it's because of this setting, so change this setting immediately. Another one that you're gonna to want to put on, I'm not sure, I have been using this app for so long, I'm not sure if it starts, if it starts with this one, but keep this one on. This is audio limiter. This will prevent clipping and distorting. So if you DJ at a friend's house, if you get gigs and DJ at a bar or a place where you're using their speakers, this will protect you from ruining their speakers and owing them money, which is really not fun. So keep audio limiter on. It's just another safety feature and you won't notice it unless you are about to do something bad. Next is going to be auto gain. If anybody is switching from this app to, from any, basically any other DJ software or hard, hardware, they might be a little confused when it comes to the gain control. So here is our EQ. We got our lows, mids, and highs. And usually, like I said, on any other DJ software or hardware, there would be another another knob above the highs that would be the trim or the gain. This ensures that both songs are, are about the same volume, so you can mix them together and your set doesn't sound like you're turning the volume up and down. And it kind of seems like in this app, they didn't want us to use it because here is our gain control. This little tiny slider that is almost impossible to use with just your finger. It's a little bit easier if you use a wireless mouse, but it's very hard to do and it's really hard to get it exact. And this is a very precise knob that you're gonna be turning to keep your volumes at the same level. But the solution for this is that DJ Pro has an amazing auto gain feature. So if you put this setting on, you never have to worry about adjusting the gain in this app ever. It works really well. So just keep this one on. On another one, I'm pretty sure this one is automatically on when you start the app, but if it's not, just change this. It's the pre-cuming select. So this makes it so you don't have to press the headphone button on your controller. As soon as you move the crossfader, if the crossfader is to the right, you can hear the tracks on the left. If the crossfader is to the left, you can hear the tracks on the right. It makes it so much easier and it gives you a button that you can map into an effects or something on a small controller. So those are the five, those are the basic settings that I would recommend you changing as soon as you start using this app. And if you guys want to learn about the DJ Pro hidden drop down menus and all of the stuff you could customize, check out this video over here. Thank you.